so today we're going on a little adventure we are going to a service dog meetup so that just means that we are going to be meeting with other service dog teams so there's going to be quite a few dogs there um, we're just going to meet at the mall and then we are going to go eat dinner somewhere but I thought that I would bring y'all along so that you can kind of see what a service dog meetup looks like. Um, I'm going to try to get as much as I can on video so that you can see all the little mistakes that the dogs make. You know, it's normal when you go to a service dog meetup for the dogs to be a little excited and distracted at first. Um, you know, they're meeting their friends that they know, they're meeting dogs that they don't know. And that doesn't mean that they're a fake service dog if they make a mistake, if they try to sniff, if they try to pull, if they let out a little bark or a whine. That's just opportunity for the handler to correct the dog and use it as a training experience. Um, so like I said, I'm going to try to get most of it on video for you. But I also want to respect the other teams if they don't want to be on camera. Sorry if you hear that, we are doing some house remodeling. but. I will see y'all when we get there. Her cozy horse saddlebag and her yellow collar, so nice. There's Flex, her best friend, her boyfriend. So there's about 11 dogs here. Right, Dennis? And those are brothers, Fusion and Flex, from the same program. So Fusion and Flex are brothers. They came from the same program, and our meetup today is for their birthday. So let y'all meet them. Um, I'm Kristen, and this is my Labradoodle Flex. And he is, um, I've been paired for him, I believe, almost three years. And he does medical alert, medical response, you can find my husband in a store. <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit about Flex. Flex. <laughs> <laughs> well, that right there is Flex. <laughs> that is Flex, the brother. This is This is Fusion. Fusion. He is a four-year-old lab poodle mix. Um, he is my service dog. We've been a team for about two and a half years now. And my name is Chloe. I'm 18 and Fusion does a lot of different stuff for me, mostly medical alert. He alerts my heart rate when it's too high or too low and he'll also lay on my lap like this to do deep pressure therapy. Um, he knows how to find my mom and find exits and stuff and do a lot of different mobility tasks when I get dizzy. So, a very talented boy. Hi, my name is Alex. This is my beautiful boy Grim. He is four years old. Yeah, four years old. He's a lab pit bull mix. He is mostly a psychiatric service dog. He does a little bit of guiding when he needs to find my mom. That's one of his tasks. He does deep pressure therapy. And yeah, a couple other things. He alerts on my anxiety and all that. I mean, pretty basic. Okay. Hi, um, my name is Audrey. I'm 23 years old and my service dog is a Great Pyrenees. She is turning five years, so she's four right now. Um, we've been a team ever since she was about a puppy, maybe three months old. Um, I owner trained her, um, and today I'm at this meetup um, for a birthday party for Fusion. Um, but my dog's not with me today because this year I recently developed allergies, um, and my allergies get really flared up when I'm around my dog too much now. Um, so she doesn't always come with me on meetups, especially when I have allergy flare-ups. Um, and my therapy and psychiatric sessions with my doctors and care team have greatly improved my condition over the past four years that I've had my dog. So there are some days that I really rely on her and there are others that I don't. And today is definitely one of those days, which is I'm really thankful for because it just happened to be an allergy flare-up day. So I'm here enjoying everybody else and, um, you know, enjoying all the dogs. That's what we do. Well, I'm Alex and this is Amor the Australian Shepherd and he is my medical alert and psychiatric alert response service dog and he is almost five and he loves his job even though it means he gets to go to work in a school with 320 elementary school kids every day but i think he likes it so because they all like to ooh and all over him <laughs> he's a good boy 
I'm Mercedes, and this is my uh, medical and uh, psychiatric uh, medical 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 other service dog. And then this is Jack Jack. He is a, he was mainly for psychiatric stuff, but he unfortunately did retire. And uh, my Instagram is Mercedes Crusher. If you want to follow me, like, he loves it. <laughs> Dallas, did you make a friend? Did you make a friend with Ember? Oh, I said her name. <laughs> Like, so cute. I'll take the boy So we just took the dogs outside. Where is she? Oh, she's behind me. <laughs> but it's freezing. So, you know, when your dog doesn't have a potty command, that kind of sucks because then you have to stand out there forever. And she likes the cold, but I don't. So, you didn't go potty. She didn't get to go potty. <laughs> on stays because we haven't done that in a long time and you're not that great hello <laughs> hello okay stay there's more pups <laughs> more pups we're working on stays stay so one of my commands for stay is this um because this is high five this is sit down Dogs learn sign language a lot better than they learn other commands by voice. But you can see her. She's all the way over there. Very good, Dallas. Release. Yes. And always praise them with a treat. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all one thing. We always do this when we were training with her as a puppy, but it's called anti-theft. And this is where you put your dog in a down stay or sit stay and you leave to go somewhere else maybe you're going to go look at some clothes and it's just really busy but this is to ensure that your dog has a solid stay if you leave and a stranger comes by to try and take them they're not going to get up until you release them so i'm going to show you all that all right so i'm going to put her in a down stay actually i'm going to get out of the way because there's people coming Things up for me, so that way I don't have to bend down and do it myself. 
um, she can do this with other objects as well. Looks cool. I'll show you. So if I were to drop something, uh, she will pick it up and you give it to you. And of course, you always reward them for good behavior. So Flex got some stuff for his birthday, I thought I'd show y'all. So he got these birthday bites, Dallas wants them. <laughs> he got a toy and then his little birthday bandana right there, happy birthday. So we are at Petco now and I'm gonna take her stuff off just to let her sniff around and get a break. So, cause she's been doing pretty good for some time now. So this is the um, difference between an on-duty and an off-duty service dog. A lot of people feel sad when service dogs are working. Um, they feel like they don't ever get to get out and have any fun, but they do. Um, so next time you see a service dog and they look really sad while working, just remember that they get to go home and they get to play and they get to hang out with their friends. So, and they get sniffy walks. I don't let her sniff while she's working, but she does get to sniff when she's off duty. Something that might happen when you're out in public um, or at a pet store like we are now, you're gonna run into other people with pets. And these people are probably gonna come up to you and say, oh, hi, can, can my dog say hi to your dog? And, or they're not even gonna ask. Sorry, my dog's pulling, she's trying to, <laughs> she's trying to sniff. Um, but it is okay to say no, and honestly, I find it easier to just say, my dog's not friendly. Even though my dog is friendly, if I just say no, they're gonna look at me weird, they're gonna get all offended, they're gonna ask for an explanation. So just say, sorry, no, my dog's not friendly, and walk away. But that's the best thing you can do. It's not a good idea to, Dallas, come here. It's not a good idea to let your dog greet strange dogs. Um, even if they are friendly, the other dog might not be. So just keep that in mind, especially when you have a service dog, you want to try to avoid a negative reaction as much as possible. But now we just have a little water break. It's always a good idea to carry a bowl so that you can give your dog a water break. They all in training. We work with training on them yeah. all the time. Do you? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Do you work with training on yours? Um, not like I should. Yeah. Yeah, he's just a little over a year, so he's still fairly young, but yeah. yeah. And the terriers seem to have a Wesley seem to be really strong will. <laughs> but you can sit faster. Sit, 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 good boy. That's, she's very socialized and calm. That's good. She's a very beautiful puppy. Watch her. So the big group is not here, but I will show y'all what the dogs look like when they tuck under the table. There's Flex, and here's Dallas. And Dallas is naked. She's not wearing a vest, but service dogs do not have to wear a vest, so 
it works. And you can see Flex is out. He's very tired. Oh, I woke him up. I said his name. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> hey, everyone. So it is actually the next day. Um, sorry, I didn't film too much over the trip. Um, we did a lot of sitting and talking and it's kind of hard to walk around with a dog and vlog um, at the same time. But I hope I got enough for y'all to kind of see what a service dog meetup looks like. Um, there were about 11 dogs there, um, which is quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean... The dogs were excited when we first got there, um, of course all the dogs made mistakes and that's perfectly fine, and, you know, they were corrected and they went on with their business and did amazing, so yeah. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit more now, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, bye!